Hi, my name is Gage Hills, and I'll be starting a brand new research group at Harvard next year called the Nano Design Group. Actually, you could be one of the first students. So in the Nano Design Group, we focus on the new area of emerging nano design. So what is emerging nano design? Well, we start with a whole host of new and exciting nanotechnology options. These range from new materials, like two-dimensional materials or one-dimensional materials, to new memories like resistive RAM or using ferroelectrics or new modalities like photonics and quantum and so on and so forth. But just building a new device is insufficient. And so in the nano design group, we work on transforming these new devices into entirely new computing architectures. For example, ultra dense and fine grained three dimensional architectures, where the overall benefit of combining these new advances is far larger than the sum of the individual parts. But I know what you might be thinking, and what a lot of people say, is that there's so many challenges associated with even making one working device with some of these new technologies, building an entire system is completely infeasible. And so this brings me to the second part, a very important part of emerging nano design, is where we leverage and come up with new design techniques and design methodologies that specifically address many of the challenges that these new technologies face. For example, nanoscale, imperfections or large variations in the material properties. And this cycle of using new technologies to enable these new three-dimensional nano systems, which then themselves can be used to enable the new technologies in the first place, which then enable these new systems, which then enable these new technologies, is emerging nano design. We're also very excited that this work is now being transferred into high volume commercial foundries. And actually, here's a wafer that I'm holding in my hand right now. This is the first wafer that was fabricated inside a commercial foundry with multiple layers of circuits built out of carbon nanotube transistors, multiple layers of memory using resistive RAM that are all fabricated directly on top of each other all over the same starting substrate. And these types of systems are impossible to build using today's silicon-based technologies. So if you're interested in joining the Nano Design Group, I encourage you to check out our brand new website nanodesign.seas.harvard.edu. This could be a unique opportunity for you to start in a brand new research group. This is an opportunity that I had when I started in a brand new research group at MIT, which gave me a sort of behind the scenes look at what the challenging and exciting parts of starting a research group from scratch. So this could be a really useful opportunity for you, for example, if you want to become a professor yourself one day. Or if your goals are to join industry, I've worked at IMEC in Belgium, also Intel, Microsoft, I worked at a startup company called Canesta. So whatever your goals are for after Harvard, I can work with you to help you achieve those goals. So if you're interested to learn more, of course you can check out our research up here, our publications up here, and feel free to reach out to me and let me know that you're interested in joining the Nano Design Group.